Hi everybody, wow, look at all this green popping up in the price column of the color guard here. Plenty of green, this market is moving up nicely with good momentum. Look at the MTI score. So we look at the underlying trend of the market above one, we note that the underlying trend of the market is up. You can see the MTI has been moving up at quite a rapid rate of knots, telling us that this market's moving quite well at the moment. If we move over to graphs and on the drop down we'd note stock, change that to being market timing. And on the layout here, you see you can click MTI layout. And all I did here is I just turned off some of the parameters here. So I just had the MTI and the price. I'll turn off the current, the high, low, and the last close. You can right click on MTI and you can change the style. So over here, for example, I could make it stand out a bit more. If I wanted to change the color, I can click on the color and then change the color or even define the color as required. I'll cancel out of here, it stands out pretty well. But here's the thing I was noting there in the weekly essay. Look how the MTI has been above one for quite some time. It just dipped temporarily for a day there below one. And look at that, it's rocketed back up again. If we put in our confirmed call, so next to last close on the drop down, look how accurate the confirmed up signal has been. There, there's the entry point into the market. And that confirmed up is still currently in play. So it got me thinking. I thought, well, let's see what have been some of the top performers since the 20th of May. Now, the way I'm going to do this, if I go back to the 20th of May, right? So go here, click on Viewers, and then I'll scroll down over here to Stock Viewer. Depends on your resolution, or you can select it here if you wish. Stock Viewer, and I'll load this up. And by default, this is sorted by VST, VST in descending order. If you see the VST note here in your column, it's got a triangle pointing down. It's in descending order. Here are the best stocks money can buy. Fundamental technical analysis. And I set the date, so you change your date here. I've already done it. I've set it to the 20th of May. All right, so here they are. And on the quick test here, I'll click on the drop down. And you can select. You can test all or selected amount. Dial it up or down. So over here, I'm going to select top 10. Click anywhere on the yellow highlighted box. Here we go. So we'll quick test the top 10. Look at those returns. Phenomenal. These are our best fundamental and technical stocks as we calculate as of that point in time in VectorVest. The best combinations of fundamentals and technicals. Oh, wow. Look at that. 22 odd percent during that time period. And just one of those stocks was a losing trade. The rest have done very nicely. All right, so it gives you an idea. Of course, you're going to apply risk and money management rules. You're not just simply going to buy and hold and hope. But this gives you a very clear indication as to the power of VST. Let's close out of here. The next thing I want to do here is I want to use Unisearch to give us some further insight into the type of stocks that we could go and find. So if I click on Unisearch here, and you'll see on the left-hand side here, if you click on this group here entitled Delta Searches Stocks, so this is going to look for stocks that are changing, some change taking place over a certain time period. Okay, so the one I'm going to look at here, this one here, five-week price delta. So what VectorVest is going to do is as of and again you can change your date i'm going to put this all the way back of course to the 20th of may because that's when we've got our confirmed up so i go to vectorvest and i say to vectorvest find me the stocks where the price moved the most over the last five weeks as of the 20th of may because what would happen of course you get the confirmed up signal you then go to vectorvest to say okay let's start looking at getting our shopping list ready put together to go into the market because we've got the confirmed signal so on the 20th of may i could run the search and I can find some pretty explosive stocks. Look at these stocks, you know, up 700%, 550, 525 over the last five weeks up to that point. Now, if I don't agree with five weeks, I could go back further if I chose. If I click on the value there, five weeks sort of descending. And you can dial it up or down accordingly. All right, so you can move it up or down. You can change that to be weeks or days, for example. All right, I'm going to leave it as is. And let's do this. As of the 20th of May, let's do this. Let's quick test the top 10. So here we go. We'll run the top 10. And wow, look at that. 98% returns, two losing trades, and the rest were winners. I don't know about you, but for myself, I'm not particularly too interested in penny stocks. So if you might be saying, well, you know, 
would we have gone after penny stocks? Well, let's change it. If you're not into penny stocks, then you can change it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a watch list and then we're going to populate the watch list with what we find from Unisearch. Okay, so to do it, let's do this. Go to viewers. I'm going to go to watch list viewer and I'm going to set up a new group. So let's do this new group. Click there on new group and let's call it let's call it here um, top top ten by Delta searches. How about that? So we'll call the group that name there. And let's set up our watch list. So new watch list here. And I'll just call it top ten delta. So this is our first one. So I'll click add. Okay, and then I'll create a few more. So I'll put uh, new watch list again. And this time around, we'll call it top 10 delta part two. So the second part, let's give it a name and let's do one more. It's a new watch list just for a bit of fun to show you the power of delta here. So top 10 delta part three. Okay, so we've got them all set up, ready to go. Click on the first one here, top 10 Delta stocks, and let's do it as follows. Let's click on Unisearch. So we look at this and say, well, what if we were to get stocks that were not penny stocks? So let's do it. Click on parameter, blank box, hover your mouse over stocks, then hover over price volume and click on price split adjusted. Here I'm going to say greater than or equal to, and in the value box, I'm going to set it to being one. Let's run the search. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the top 10. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we are. Right click and let's add it to a watch list. So there we go. Back to best remember where you were last. Yep, top 10 delta. And push OK. So move those in. All right. Let's uh, hop over to our watch list here. Top 10. I'll right click, order fit all the columns, make it nice and neat. And let's quick test. All of the stocks will go back to May where we got that signal. All right, so back to May, April, May, here we go, 20th. And let's quick test all. So they were over a dollar. Look at that, 54%. So it's still very impressive, not as impressive as 90 odd percent, but 50 odd, still very impressive. But I want to show you down the bottom here. If I come down to the bottom of the watch list average, view watch list average graph you'll see over here for example we can see the technicals were starting to fade they've kicked up a bit so that's been that blast or phase but you'll notice that the earnings are a bit flat sort of falling so although we found some pretty explosive stocks they're kind of going against the grain a bit the earnings are falling but the share price is going up and the technicals are sort of you know the main reason why this is blasting off for now so let's go back to uni search per our five week price delta. Let's change it again ever so slightly. This time around, let's come into here and let's click on stocks, capital appreciation, a GRT, our earnings growth rate. Let's set that to be at least 10%. So greater than or equal to custom value and put in 10%. Let's run the search. All right, again, let's grab the top 10. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I'm just clicking on the first one, holding my shift key down and then Clicking down till I get 10. Right click and add to watch list. Here we go. We'll put it into the second one, part two. Okay, and we'll click on OK. Go back to viewers. So now we've got the strong GRT scores. Let's come down to the bottom, right click, view watch list average graph. Aha. Now that's what I'm looking for, right? The earnings are powering up, the technicals are powering up, so it doesn't look too bad. Okay, let's quick test. We'll quick test all as of the 20th of May. Wow, look at that. So there we go. We found stocks over a dollar, not the penny stocks. They did 100%. And they've got rising earnings, not falling earnings. It's pretty impressive. Let's go back one more time. For the last run here, let's make sure our financials stack up. So let's click stocks, capital appreciation, RS, relative safety greater than or equal to on a scale of 0 to 2. Let's put in at 1.2. That's a pretty solid score there on relative safety. There we are. Let's grab the top 10. And let's go ahead and add. 
to that watch list. All right, so right click at watch list there. This will be for part three. Pull it across. There we go. And let's move over to viewers. Here we go. Right click down the bottom here. View watch list average graph. Look at that. Wonderful set of earnings. I've put on value here just to show you. Look at that. Nicely undervalued as well. Look at the growth rate score there. Solid growth rate there. If I change this to being an area graph, really stacking up well. Wow, look at that. Not a bad set of stocks. How do they stack up? Let's quick test all since the 20th of May. All 10. Wow, 47 odd percent. That's the power of Unisearch there under Delta searches. Doesn't matter which one you pick. Choose one that works for you. And then, of course, as we've done here today, you can modify as you see fit. I hope you got a lot of value out of this week's short video. Until next week, bye for now.